Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another grocery haul. This is a grocery haul from Tesco for my large family of six. And if you stay tuned to the end, I will also share my meal plan. Now also at the end of this video, I wanna have a little chat about my grocery hauls and upcoming content and I need your opinion on something that we're gonna do moving forward. So if you could stay tuned to the end and let me know what you think about that in the comments, I would be really grateful. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of shopping hauls. I've got lots of back to school content at the moment because I'm filming this in August, 2020. I do lots of vlogs as well as life hacks, organization, speed cleaning, all that kind of stuff. I hope you will love it. Let's take a look at what I have bought this week. Let's start over here with fruit and fridge and fresh and frozen. And I can put all of this stuff away. So we've got some bananas. They're not quite ready to eat yet, so they'll be in the next day or so. I've got two packs of Pink Lady apples. Now, one pack's for my mother-in-law, so I do shop for my mother-in-law as well. Now, she asked me for four, and I was buying a pack of six for myself. It turns out the pack of six was cheaper than the pack of four, not just per apple, but actually cheaper. So it's always worth checking, rather than blindly buying the quantity or the size that you think you should get because quite often so that's a, like one example of really like you could have been caught out but quite often it's cheaper to buy two of a smaller size than one of a bigger size or vice versa it's always worth checking the kind of per hundred grams or per item price rather than just the overall price anyway back to food black grapes also for my mother-in-law blueberries are for her too raspberries are for us and strawberries are for us i do try and feed my children so either fruit or veg or both at every meal. We do our best, and luckily they will eat sort of a pretty wide variety of fruit, and they do think of it as a treat. And we've got mini carrots and carrot buttons. Now, I bought the mini carrots recently because the carrot buttons were out of stock, and Zara really liked them. Um, I tend to put these, I use them either as a dippy stick thing, like instead of a bread stick or whatever, and I eat them or the children eat them as a snack, um, but they're also pretty good for lunches alongside things. And of course we are starting to think about lunch boxes and things for back to school. My children did used to have school dinners, but their school has requested that they have lunch boxes. So let me know if you want to see a video about the kind of things they're gonna be putting in their lunch boxes. Let me know in the comments. Baby spinach, as you know, I use as like a leaf for my salad. And then peppers, a couple of things I'm using peppers for this week, including the salad. Now the large crunchy stir fry, I use for my lunches. No one else is that fussed on it. I quite like a bit of stir fry. I quite like it with, I haven't bought any today, but I've already got it, the Nando Peri Peri um, Salt, I think it's called, because it doesn't really add anything in the way of like, calories or stodge or anything it just adds a bit of zing and flavor so that makes a really quick and easy lunch for me while the children are having something else that i perhaps wouldn't want i've got jacket potatoes and also new potatoes do stay tuned to the end for the meal plan i'll let you know exactly what i'm doing with all of this sweet potatoes as well which are a good alternative for jacket potatoes but not all of my family like sweet potatoes we've got some of each and cherry tomatoes, which again are for the salad. On to dairy, we've got some mature cheddar. I only did one block, so I already had some in the fridge. Fromage fray for the littlies. I have tried, you know, the, the kind of more lunchbox ones, the more sort of packaged with, or froobs or whatever, fromage fray. I actually find it's less mess to just let them eat one of these with a spoon than it is to give them one of those more packaged -y ones that are designed to be less messy. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Which way do you like to feed your small children yogurt? And are the yogurts that are designed to be less messy actually less messy for you or not? Then we've got some innocent smoothies. The children really like these. They have these as like a treat on the weekends because even though it's the summer holidays, we do differentiate weekend breakfasts from weekday breakfasts just to sort of establish a bit of routine. Luckily, half of them prefer the orange kind and half of them prefer the green kind, which is convenient because I have four children and they come in boxes off. So we go through four on a Saturday morning and four on a Sunday morning. And then again, that's like one of their five a day as well, isn't it? I actually tried these for the first time recently and realized the children like them because they're barely any thicker than juice. They are that sort of 
thin and mushed up whereas a normal smoothie would perhaps be a bit more gloppy um and then other dairy we've got milk one for us i like to feed the children full fat milk and the other one is for my mother-in-law um she prefers semi-skimmed on to more like cooked meats for like lunch boxes and things we've got some chicken breast slices some pork cocktail sausages and some um mini sausage rolls they were on two for a price we've got some ham some of which is for my mother-in-law some of which for sandwiches and some of which is to go into a meal that we put together so stay tuned to find out what that is then over here we've got some sirloin steak for myself and my husband the children really like beef burgers which we've already got in the freezer so one night we'll have steak and they will have beef burgers we've got some chicken breast fillet which is for a couple of different things stay tuned to find out what that is these salmon fish cakes which i really like because they don't have any gunk in the middle i can't stand fish cakes with gunk in the middle fish cakes should not have gluppy cheesy mush in my opinion i don't know let me know if i'm wrong but in my opinion i like a fish cake with a bit of sweet chili sauce and then a bit of salad on the side some peas and maybe some new potatoes so that's the they are our kind of fish cakes of choice without gunk in them not much in the way of frozen stuff today because i've already got quite a full freezer we were really low on chips having tried all the different chips we tried the naked chips we tried the chips from every different place every different supermarket these are still my faves other than these but really they're not the same thing if you know what i mean because these are normal chips these peri peri fries are like a whole beast all of their own we like these when we have our nando's fake away night they actually go quite nicely with burgers as well um but they are amazing love them both but i feel like they're apples and oranges you know both good but these are definitely my favorite if you just want a normal oven chip well, pop this stuff away and i'll show you the rest on to dry and i've got the double strength orange squash that i always buy that my whole family likes and i keep in our jug in the fridge which gets plonked on the table at meal times i've also got some of this which i like and it is so so delicious i am always looking for ways to encourage myself to drink more water and popping a bit of this in my bottle of water really does help me drink more i've recently bought a new bottle which i quite like it's got an open mouth spout because you shouldn't really drink anything out of a bike bottle other than just water because it's bad for your teeth so one of these sort of open spout top drinks you can have more squash and things with but i also like it because it's got the hoop on the drinks container so i can hang that onto my daughter's toy car when i do the school run which is like a push along car thing that i uh, use to take them to school but also you know if you've got a pram or something you hook it onto there it's just i like something with a loop on it anyway this if you haven't tried it is amazing and i will link my special drinks bottle that i've just discovered and i have a couple of because they're so great below on to pasta bake one of these is for us and one is for my mother-in-law she is in our extended household which you can have in wales where you can invite another household to join with you to be an extended household so she's actually been able to come and visit us and we had this one night when i just needed a super quick and easy tea and she loved it so i've got one of those for her as well it's so easy to do you literally throw it over dry pasta with like this and then a jar of water so you refill the jar with water put it in the oven for something like 25 minutes it does say on there and then you take it out put some grated cheese over the top put it back in for another 20 minutes and it's done and it's just perfection every time and on a night where you're just running around like an idiot you know you're trying to see the children you've got loads on it's a really quick and easy tea uh we've got some cereal because uh, we opened our backup boxes of honey nut cornflakes and wheat biscuits so crunchy nut and wheat bix basically but the own brand tesco version of that cereal seems absolutely fine now one of the meals we have been enjoying of late is a nando's fake away and these bag things are brilliant it's like a funny papery bag you put the chicken in you put the spice in you kind of just shake it and then you cook it in the bag and it is so delicious honestly it's just like going into the restaurant i've already got the sauces and things like the you know the condimenty sauces from nando's in the cupboard but i did need more of these shake and bake things they're so yummy i've got an enchilada dinner kit uh, which is just an alternative to when we do fajitas really it's more like an eat it with a knife and fork kind of meal it's a similar type of food but it changes the flavor and the texture and things which is really nice because my family does like a bit of mexican food we've got an easy peasy fake away curry one night well it's fake away um so three different varieties of sauces and the mango chutney 
We have had the Tesco mango chutney before now, but the children don't like it because it's too spicy. This one is actually quite cooling, which is as I think mango should probably be, uh, which is better than having a spicy, spicy one, especially when you've got spicy curry. We've got some guacamole and salsa to go with fajita-y, enchilada -y type food. And then refried beans, which goes nicely with uh, fajitas. But also, the children quite like it when I make quesadillas for lunch, which are basically wraps and grated cheese and refried beans in the middle. And then I put them in the oven to bake them and then cut them into like pizza triangles. And the children really love those. I've got some chopped tomatoes and some kidney beans because I'm planning to make myself a chili. And that's just reminded me, I don't think I showed you the mushrooms. I bought mushrooms. I forgot to show you these in my fresh stuff. So I've just whipped them out of the fridge to show you. I'm going to make myself a veggie chili, which is largely what these are for. But also if we do pizzas one night, Zara and I both like mushrooms on our pizzas, but no one else in the house likes mushrooms. So we've got some wraps, which can be used for wraps for Lunches can be used to make the quesadillas I just talked about with the refrain beans, can be used for enchiladas, although there are some wraps in the enchilada kit, and also as a base for pizza. So we've got this really easy pizza sauce. I've already got grated mozzarella in the fridge and ham, which I showed you earlier, and some pineapple, which makes ham and pineapple. I've also got olives in the fridge that I already had because Zara and I like olives on our pizza and the mushrooms I just showed you. We've got some bread for toast or sandwiches, some rolls to go with the children's burgers or for sandwiches, crumpets for my husband for breakfast, and scotch pancakes for the children just like those as a little snack sometimes. More children's snacks. We've got mini cheddars, which they love. Some fruit stars, which arguably could belong over and don't judge me. Not sure. Um, perhaps they do, perhaps they don't. Probably quite sugary, but the children don't have them that often. Certainly do enjoy them. We've got some pepper pig raisins, which are great for out and about. If we go to the park or something, I can chuck some of those in my bag. And we've got some pan au chocolat, which maybe do belong in Don't Judge Me as well, actually, that the children get for breakfast, as well as cereal and fruit on the weekends. So on Saturday and Sunday mornings, they get one of those alongside their breakfast. Over to household and toiletries before we do Don't Judge Me, and then our meal plan. So we've got some packs of tissues for popping in school bags. You always need to have tissues with you just in case. We've got some toothpaste. Um, a lot of the toothpastes I've been buying lately, and not this one, this one's just stripey, but a lot of them have just gone to this kind of bright blue gunky color that then my family spits all over the sink and it just sort of looks really stainy. So I've been trying not to buy those toothpastes. I was trying to buy more white-based toothpastes. Maybe sounds a bit insane, but these, even though they've got blue and red in them, I don't find cause so much of a problem. I mean, is anyone else constantly cleaning toothpaste off the sink, like constantly, all day, every day? I am, let me know if I'm the only one. Then we've got Little Teeth, which is the one we finally got Zara onto from Milk Teeth. The others were all too spicy, quote unquote, but she will use that one. We've got some moisturizer for me. I use for my face, as long as it's not sunny, because I try to use an SPF if it is sort of sunny or summery. Um, but I use this in the night and then it's good for just elbows and knees and shins and any other dry skin. And all of my skin is super dry. We've got some razor blades. So few of these items will have bumped the cost of the shop up, um, which you're gonna be a bit horrified actually about how much this shop cost. But things like this, I mean, these on their own were quite expensive. So a few items and a few items I've got to show you still that really have bumped the price. Got some unstoppables. As you know, I like using the Method laundry detergent, but I find that for bedding and things, if I put a bit of this in, because I don't use fabric softener on anything that's absorbent, so no towels or cloth nappies or anything like that. So I put a bit of this in with the wash and it does make it kind of smell nicer when you take it back out, put out the beddings or the towels or whatever to use them again. We've got some Method Multi-Surface Pink Grapefruit, which smells amazing. So I've got one to use as one as a backup because I was right down to my very last of that. Some dry shampoo. A few people have said since I've got dark hair, why don't you use the dark hair dry shampoo? And it's mainly because I put it in before bed and then it kind of works its way through my hair. So if I put brown dry shampoo in my hair before bed, it would be all over my white pillowcases. And then I've got a massive amount of toilet roll because everyone is home a lot and normally they would you know win through in school a little bit but all my children are home 
all the time. Um, I have been buying toilet rolls sometimes from Amazon as well, but today I had enough capacity to buy it from Tesco's out of my limit because Tesco's are still doing a 95 item limit. I think I actually bought 95 items today. Um, but yeah, so this was item 95. On to Don't Judge Me. So Don't Judge Me, mini poppadoms. They are to go with curry, yummy, yummy. A lot of crisps. And these meaty ones are really nice, but to go with some lunches, the children don't have crisps every day for lunch, but my husband really likes them. And there's a lot of wine. Now I haven't got a problem. This is just because it made economic sense. When you buy six or more bottles of wine from Tesco's at the moment, then you get 25% off all of them. So I thought I was buying six and clearly I can't count because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, isn't it? But never mind. We will not drink all these this week, try not to panic. But it's always good to have a bit of lockdown juice in stock even when you are coming out of lockdown so let me know what is in your don't judge me section this week so the total spend for this shop is a lot it's on screen now but i did buy a lot of more expensive items than that the razor blades the wine which i also won't have to buy for a good few weeks a lot of the kind of the householdy items i bought have really bumped up the price and i have bought some of that stuff for my mother-in-law as well so a lot of that shop is not actually for us i think we did have quite a lot for the money but that is why that one is such an expensive shop now before we take a look at the meal plan i just wanted to have a little chat with you guys as you know i have been doing a grocery comparison series where i did shops every week for a good number of weeks from all the different supermarkets and I did a massive comparison video where I went through all the different pros and cons of every single service and hopefully that was quite informative for you guys as you know comparing delivery availability delivery prices all that kind of thing and a lot of you said you really enjoyed that video I get so many lovely comments saying you really really love my grocery hauls but then obviously they're not for everybody and some people perhaps think they're a bit repetitive because the truth is I don't buy things for the video, I buy things for my family. I'm not the most kind of chefy type person. I try and feed my family a balanced diet. I try and balance kind of feeding them right, but with juggling being a full-time work at home, stay at home mum. I would say my grocery hauls are quite authentic, but some of the stuff I buy does become repetitive, partly because it's easier to do so, partly because I have two children with autism and then introducing new things every week just wouldn't be practical. So I worry, I think when I get comments saying that they're repetitive, it worries me because people are saying out loud or in comments what I worry about these videos. So I guess what I want to say is that I'll keep making them as long as you guys want to see them, but if there's no interest in doing them, then obviously I won't keep making them. So how often would you like to see grocery haul videos ideally i was doing them weekly and i was worried that was then going to feel repetitive so i was thinking maybe doing them alternate weeks and alternating a grocery haul one week and what i eat in a day the next week because it's kind of along the same theme but mixing it up a little bit what do you guys think about that because obviously i don't make videos for myself i make them for you guys so if you want to see these videos then i'll make them and if you'd rather see something else, let me know and I'll make those. So uh, equally, if there are any specific requests for any specific type of videos you would like to see, please do let me know down in the comments. Okay, enough of a waffle, let's get on to the meal plan. So this is my kitchen organization station. I have just cleaned off all these boards this morning so that I can get them all ready for September and get super organized. But if you want to download the printables and find the frames and things that I use to make all this, and um, all the details in that blog post about how I clean them off and all that kind of thing and how I use them, then the link is in the description below. So right now, let's take a look at this meal plan. So tonight we are having fish cakes with peas and new potatoes and salad. I do tend to put salad on the side of most meals. Obviously it doesn't lend itself to every single meal, but most meals I do like to try and include a bit of salad. And I will eat it every time. If I put it in a bowl in the middle of the table, my family do tend to eat at least some of the salad most meals. Then tomorrow night we are doing my teenager's favorite, which is a Nando's fake away. So for that, I will do rice, the peri-peri fries, 
the chicken, which we've got a medium and the lemon and herb. And then I've already got the Nando's sauces in the cupboard to do the kind of condiments and things like that. Wednesday night, we are doing steak with peppercorn sauce. Already got the stuff to do the peppercorn sauce. Um, and I've already got the peas. We've got the chips we bought today, the rolls, and also then the children will have burgers, which are already in the freezer. Zara will have a chicken burger, the other will have normal burgers, because Zara does not like normal burgers. On Thursday, I've got fajitas on the meal plan, but it could be swapped to enchiladas. It really doesn't matter which one. I'll kind of see which one I fancy doing on the night, but it's gonna be fajitas or enchiladas on that evening. Friday night is curry night. So we did used to have a takeaway pre-lockdown and then we just got in the habit of not going anywhere to even pick up takeaways. And then I got in the habit of just making, like I make a home curry, like an easy peasy one on a Friday night. So I've just kind of followed that on. I guess it does save a little bit of money compared to actually getting a takeaway, but that's what we're doing at the moment. Then on Saturday night, we're doing homemade pizzas with the tortilla wraps as the bases, pizza sauce, the mozzarella I already had in the fridge, and then all the toppings I talked about earlier. And then on Sunday, I've got a gammon joint in the fridge with a really good date on it that I bought last week. So we'll do that with pineapple and probably, well, either chips or new potatoes depending on how the mood takes us. Um, I will also put a bit of honey over the top of that, which I've already got in the fridge, so it'll become like a honey glazed gallon so as I do that in the oven. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. My latest video is just across here, and another video you may enjoy from my channel is just down here. See you guys soon.